is a part of life. Unless you stay at home hiding under the couch, your life consists of one calculated risk after another. Risk is often more a perception than reality. There are many people who are afraid of flying, yet you take greater risk to your life driving on the New Jersey Turnpike than you do flying, and the risk isn't even close. Risk is also relative. It is not an uncertain gamble or a reckless bet. Risk is manageable to some degree. It's not all or nothing. How risk averse you and your board are determines how much risk your organization can tolerate. Understanding the reward side can help. Risk and reward are words that have a certain ring to them. They go together well. Any effort to raise funds involves some risk, and given the amount of funds raised annually, a reward. One thing is certain, if you don't take the risk to raise funds, you certainly won't have the reward. Financial certainty is elusive. There's always risk involved. That's why it's important you take prudent risks with your fundraising. You've probably heard a popular definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. The truth is you can't expect different results when you do the same thing over and over. If you want to raise significantly more money than you've raised in the past, it's time to try something new. And that's risky. Here are four calculated risks your organization can take this year that will reap rewards. One, raise funds from individual donors. In other words, get out there and ask for major gifts. Raising major gifts has already proven to be one of the most cost-effective forms of fundraising, so it's a pretty safe bet. But what are the risks? You can insult, alienate, or upset a donor. Maybe you'll enrage one of your most loyal donors, but probably not. The risks are low and the rewards could be great. Raising major gifts is not too risky in the grand scheme of things. Most who engage in raising major gifts reap large rewards. Yet for some reason, many boards and staff members are afraid to take any risk to devote the time and resources necessary to reap the rewards of fully supporting a robust major gift program. Two, split test your direct mail and email campaigns. You can't know what messaging and approach works best if you don't test. The risk is low and the variables are the same if you try two different appeals at the same time. Even if one appeal greatly outproduces the other, you still have the reward of knowing what works best and that knowledge can only help the next time around. Three, consider a capital campaign. Yes, there's a lot of work in a capital campaign, and that means you risk not getting something else done. There are embedded rewards, though. Capital campaigns generate news and excitement about your organization. They give your donors something to follow as they witness the campaign's progress. Even though those things are not dollars, they are precursors to giving. If it's been more than a few years since your last campaign, or you've never had one, consider embarking on a capital campaign. Over the long run, capital campaigns enable organizations to raise significantly more funds than they normally do. Four, cancel one of your existing events. There's nothing that will instill fear in your board members more than telling them that you'll be canceling one of your long-standing events. How will you replace the income, they'll wonder. Really? Was it making that much anyway? If the answer is yes, don't cancel it. Take a close look and really evaluate the success of each of your past events. Is it worth the time and effort or should you be trying something new? Before canceling the event, 
have a plan for what you will do with your newfound time and resources instead. Maybe major gift fundraising? Here's the thing. People and organizations who take calculated risks generally reap rewards. If you continue to do the same things you've always done, there's no opportunity for growth. You and your organization will stagnate. Remember, even lessons learned in failure can prove to be great rewards in and of themselves. And one failure is not the end of the world. Risks are not outright gambles. Risks are based on knowledge. My seven-week course, Mastering Major Gifts, gives you tremendous amount of knowledge to step up your game when it comes to raising major gifts. Best of all, there's zero risk involved since I offer a 100% money-back guarantee. No risk, all reward. You can't beat that. Check it out and get started today. If you want more videos like this, head on over to amyeisenstein.com. There you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter and when you do, you'll get instant access to two free eBooks. Like and share. The larger the conversation, the more we all learn.